What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're gonna be doing some blackout parkour. This is a video I've been working on for quite some time now, and what I'm gonna be doing is sharing various techniques and methods to get on top of pretty much any building in blackout. Now, of course, there are a few exceptions. There are some buildings you can't get on top of unless you're using the grapple hook, which keep in mind the spots I'm gonna be sharing are all without a grapple hook which just makes them that much more versatile. But these tips I'm gonna be sharing here are excellent at helping you get out of sticky situations or just helping you gain the upper hand in a gunfight. There have been so many times while playing Blackout where I could have had a fair 50-50 sort of gunfight against somebody, but instead of doing that, I thought outside the box, used one of these techniques to get on top of a structure or get somewhere that they didn't expect to gain the upper hand and essentially get a free kill. While many of these might seem obvious, I do wanna just go through, show a bunch of my favorite spots that I found at each of the named locations and a couple buildings that are outside of the named locations just to reveal some of the potential with the movement in Blackout because there's a ton of things you can do that at first glance you would think aren't possible without a grapple hook. One last thing to keep in mind before we start getting into the spots is this is by no means a comprehensive video covering all of the cool jump spots that you can do on Blackout. I'm sure there's a ton of other great jump spots that can be utilized to get to various positions. I just want to help you guys unlock that potential and show you what's possible because I see far too many people just hanging out on the ground and making themselves an easy target. So let's kick off the spots with firing range. Now the first technique I want to share with you guys, and this one is extremely versatile, it's often the only way to get on top of many of the buildings in this game, especially these single story buildings, is what I just call the door technique. With this, all you have to do is open a door outwards, then if you come straight towards the door, you can mantle on top of that, and then from there, it makes for an easy jump onto the rooftop. There are plenty of buildings in the game where this is literally the only way to get on top of them, and it's a really simple technique that can be used in a wide variety of situations. But getting into firing range overall, as you see these clips playing in the background, you can get on top of literally every structure in firing range. First up for the firing range building where you get the annihilator, you can jump across from the crates or you can also jump on top from the front here and that's a much easier way to get on top of this. Most people won't expect you to be up here so it's super super easy. Unfortunately I couldn't get on top of tin from this area but there is another spot I'll show you to get on top of tin in a minute. Also on the trailer area here, the white trailer, you can use the door technique to easily get on top of there and this can be a very effective building to be on top of because you actually get a nice piece of cover with this little wing that's on top of the building and that's excellent and you can also see into the building very easy from here. Now an alternative, if you're coming from this side, you can jump on the sandbags, jump on this little thing here and then jump onto the building that's attached to the white trailer and that will get you up here as well which can also be quite effective in various situations. Getting into the wood building, when you're in top wood, this is a jump spot that it looks like you can't make, but you actually can. You can jump up to this area right here, and then from here, you've got the best vantage point in firing range. You can see pretty much any area of firing range very, very easily. And people typically don't expect you to be right on top here. They might expect you in the sniper's area, but not on top of it. And this will lead to a lot of very easy kills for you. Just an alternative to that, if you're coming from the other direction, you can just jump on these sandbags and then jump on top of this tin building to get on top of the sniper's area, which is also super effective. And from up top here, this is the only way that I was able to find to get on top of top tin without using a grapple hook. And you can see it's a pretty easy jump to make. And this is another area where people will pretty much never expect you to be. With the red building over here, you can also use the door technique once again to get on top of this building that you otherwise may have thought that it was impossible to get on top of without a grapple. And with the blue building, once again, we can use the door technique, or you don't even really need to. You can just jump on the handrails here and then onto the rooftop, which is quite effective. And that pretty much covers it for firing range. There's a lot of versatile spots that you can use here to gain the upper hand, especially early game. If you can just get your hands on a gun and then get to one of these elevated positions, you'll end up with a lot of very easy kills. Getting into the farm area, this barn here is an area where oftentimes you get teams just locking it down and the only ways in are through the doorways down low, or at least that's what most people think. Something you can do is you can actually climb the ladder up onto this silo, and from this silo, once you mantle over this railing, you're able to make the jump to the rooftop here. And from the rooftop, you can use that for great cover into other areas where the farm is, or if you'd like, you can come over to the window here and take out the people that are often camping on the second floor area of this barn. They will never expect you to be up here unless they sound whore you, but in most situations, they really won't expect you to be coming from this area. Moving on to Array, I've got a couple great jump spots here. The first one is to jump on top of this truck. You can actually jump into this window, even though it looks like you can't make it, and even mid-jump, it looks like you're not going to make it. You will actually catch the mantle here and make it through that window, which can be great if there's somebody camping up top, or if they're down low, they just wouldn't expect you to be coming from the top floor at that point. 
You can also use the door technique over in this area right here to get into the second floor window right there, just a little alternative. And also with these two buildings here, it looks like you can't quite make it. I've tried several different jumps and I couldn't make it, but once again, that door technique really comes in handy and it makes it really easy to get on top of these buildings. Now these small buildings here are pretty straightforward to get on top of. If you just jump on top of the window area and then jump on the roof, you can easily get on top of those. And this brings us to another technique that you can use to get on top of buildings that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get on top of. And this is simply use a vehicle, drive up to that building, and then jump on the vehicle to jump up on the roof. This is an excellent way to get on top of several different building types that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get on if you happen to have a vehicle available. Now the last thing I have to show you guys on Array is a way to get on top of the middle Array building without using the ladder. You can simply jump up on this tank right here, jump to the rooftop, and there you go. You got yourself up here without using the one obvious spot. This brings us to Nuketown, and with Nuketown, you can get on top of pretty much every single house on here. I think there's one house that you're unable to get on top of, and I just wanted to point out how easy it is to get on top of these houses, because I almost never see people utilizing this within Nuketown. And for most of these, all it takes is just a little bit of creativity and thought, and you can easily get on the rooftops, and from there, it's much easier to win your gunfights. Like I said, there was one single building in Nuketown that I was unable to find a method to get on top of without a grapple hook, and that's this building right here. It's possible that you can use the door technique above the garage to get in, but I couldn't quite hit that jump, so it seems like it may not be possible, or at the very least, it's extremely difficult to do. This brings us to Hijacked, and there's a bunch of great jump spots on Hijacked. One thing you can do is jump on top of the cabana area here, and from there, obviously, you can jump to that balcony, or you can actually jump directly to this rooftop, which is not what they normally expect you to do. Normally, they'll expect you to take the ladder, but you can do it much easier. As for the other rooftop in Hijacked, unfortunately, you can't jump from this area of the balcony here to get up, but you can jump from the corner and mantle up this way, and this is the only way that you can get up here without a grapple hook which means you'll be very secure up here. So keep an eye out for campers up there and you may want to utilize that spot in some situations. Now, the last thing I want to point out with Hijacked is instead of staying down low, if you're coming into these areas here, you can simply jump up onto this higher area and this isn't where people will expect you to be. And this allows you to get the jump on them very, very easily. Moving on to construction, this is an area where, honestly, I don't have too many really unique spots, but one little technique I wanted to share with you guys that has saved my life a lot of times in construction is the ability to drop down to various floors without falling all the way down the elevator shaft and without having to take the stairs. The trick with this is to simply sprint off the edge at the right angle rather than trying to jump off the edge. If you jump, you typically miss and you fall down the elevator shaft, but if you practice this enough, you'll be able to sprint off the edge and catch that floor properly every single time without any stress. One other thing I wanted to point out is if you're on this area here by the parking garage, there's a nice way to drop down to the other floor. If there's people camping back there, for instance, you can just drop down from over here and you might take them off guard. Moving on to Raid, I wanted to point out with Raid, you can get on top of these buildings from so many different angles and directions. It is extremely easy to get on top of pretty much anything on here, and make sure you're utilizing that against your enemies, because a lot of people still play this as though it's Black Ops 2, and they don't realize you can get on any one of the rooftops quite easily. As for Stronghold, I've got a couple great jump spots for you guys here. To get onto the rooftop of Stronghold, the only obvious way to get up there is to take the stairs. There's really only that one entrance. However, there is this one jump spot that will also get you up on that rooftop, and it's really great for taking out those campers. As for getting to the highest point on Stronghold, that second rooftop, there is one way to get up there, and that is to jump up on this wall right here, and then jump up onto the rooftop. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is not in a named location, but it's this style of house with these shutters that stick out. To get on top of them, you can't quite make the jump just straight on, but you can often use these window shutters in order to mantle up onto the rooftop very, very easily. Also, from the two-story building next to it, you can jump up on the blue car, which will get you to the second floor area here, and then from there, you can simply jump up to the rooftop. Getting into the train station, I just wanted to show you that there are several ways to get onto the rooftop of the main train station building here. It's very, very easy, and you can often take people off guard. The next spot is a lot less obvious, and this is another way to get on top of the warehouse without using the ladder or that little mantle area right there, which is exactly where they expect you to come up. Now, initially, I was trying really hard to try and catch some sort of an invisible ledge or something here in order to get up on top of the rooftop, but unfortunately, that just wasn't working. However, the next thing I tried was jumping onto this thing on the corner of the building. From here, you can jump and mantle on top, and there you go. That'll get you on the warehouse from a different direction that they don't normally expect. Getting into Asylum, a lot of people haven't realized yet that there is a way to get on top of Asylum without using a grapple hook, and that is this method right here. If you go up to the stairs, you're able to just jump up to this area here, and then you can kind of parkour your way around if you want to get up on top of the rest of the building where the teddy bear is, as well as Ruin's Punching Mitts, which will be right up in this spot right here. 
Moving on to Turbine, if you want to get up to the catwalk area, if you're in the Blade Factory, it's quite easy. You can just jump up and use this as a ladder to get you up to this area. And from here, you can simply jump and catch a mantle to get on the catwalk. Now, I did try for quite some time to use this spot to get onto the rooftop of this building, but unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be possible without a grapple hook. As for the other building in Turbine, it's the same sort of idea as the Blade Factory. However, in order to get to a spot where you can jump up on the catwalk, you do have to go prone and crawl underneath this area. Then you can jump up from there. As for building 3, which is that warehouse that's on its own, this one has a ladder up to the catwalk, and it seems like a lot of people didn't know that was there, and also the people that did know that was there don't seem to realize that you can easily jump to the rooftop from there, which is extremely powerful if you have a longer range gun and you want to lock down buildings 1 and 2. Moving on to the zombies gym, over here it looks like it's impossible to get to the rooftop without a grapple hook, however it can be done. If you just mantle out this window and edge your way over, you can simply jump and catch that mantle on the roof and there you go, you got yourself up top. This brings us over to factory and with factory it's pretty easy to get on the standard rooftop, there's plenty of ways to do that. But getting onto the highest point of factory on the main building is quite difficult and this took me quite some time to find out that this was possible. You can jump up on these units here and from there as long as you jump as close to the right side as possible you can make this jump and get up top here. As for the other building I just wanted to point out you can get to the rooftop without using the obvious ladder spots if you use the door technique. All you have to do is jump on top of the door here and there you go that'll get you up to this rooftop. As for this one brick building outside of factory, I just thought it was really interesting to point out that you can make this mantle. It looks like that should be completely impossible because it's so high up, but you can do it. Moving on to cargo, the first thing to point out that is probably obvious to most of you is you can really easily mantle on any one of these crates. I see a lot of people, they only seem to want to mantle to the first level, but you can get right up top quite easily, and I often use this to my advantage to take out my enemies. As for the four legs of this structure here, you can actually mantle up and run all the way up to the top of them and people won't often expect you up here, although you are fairly exposed and you can't get right up top unless you have a grapple hook. Now getting into this middle building right here, it's quite easy to get on top of that. From here you can just jump on the railing and then jump to the rooftop which is quite effective. I also wanted to point out you can use these benches here to quite easily jump into that second floor window which doesn't look like you can do but you absolutely can which is great for taking those people out that will be camping up there watching the stairs. Obviously you can do it from here as well, or if you come to the front, you can use the door technique in order to get into the front window up here. Moving over to the blue top building, this one's quite easy, you can use the door technique to get up there quite easily, or you can just use this garbage can right here, you can jump on that and then jump onto the rooftop. Also from the other side, you can simply use the railing in order to get on the roof, it's quite easy to get onto the rooftop of this building, but I rarely see anybody up here. So finally, getting into Rivertown, I've got a great jump spot in order to get to the top of Grandma's house, or at least that's what I like to call it. This is Grandma's house in Rivertown. You can simply jump across like that and then jump onto the rooftop. Also from the front, a lot of people don't know how easy it is to just jump on top of the roof directly. Instead of going through the house and going up the stairs, you can really easily just get onto the second floor or right up to the rooftop if you wanted to. As for the Fringe Barn, this is another area where I rarely see people jumping up top and it offers you a great vantage point over Rivertown and there's a couple different ways up. There's one way from the back there and then there's also this way right here which might not be obvious at first sight but it is really effective to get up here because you can also look through these skylights on the roof and you can drop through if you wanted to or from there you can also jump up to the rooftop. And with that, that covers it for all of the important spots that I wanted to show you guys to get on top of pretty much any structure in Blackout. Hopefully you were able to pick up at least a few spots that you'll be able to utilize in your gameplay. And of course, like I said at the beginning of the video, I hope this also just helps you guys find your own spots and your own ways to get on top of various structures, as well as different ways to simply be creative to set yourself up for success in a gunfight. I'd like to know from you guys, out of all the spots I shared today, which one was your favorite or which one surprised you the most? Let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. Now one last thing with this video is I just thought I'd plug my Twitch channel a little bit. You guys can see a stream highlight going on in the background. If you guys are interested in coming to see me play live, ask me some questions, just generally hang out and have a good time, I will leave a link to my stream down below. I try to stream about three to four days a week, normally in the early afternoon North American time. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time. He tried to triple stun me! Got him. Yeah.